Energizing your soul through the inspired Word of God. This is your daily devotional reading. Our High Calling, a devotional by Ellen White. April 15th, Preoccupying the Mind. Lord, I want to be a Christian in my heart, in my heart. Lord, I want to be a Christian in my heart, in my heart, in my heart. Lord, I want to be a Christian in my heart. Preoccupying the mind. A good man out of the good treasure of his heart bringeth forth that which is good, and an evil man out of the evil treasure of his heart bringeth forth that which is evil. For of the abundance of the heart his mouth speaketh. Luke chapter 6 verse 45. The mind is so constituted that it must be occupied with either good or evil. If it takes a low level, it is generally because it is left to deal with commonplace subjects. Man has the power to regulate and control the workings of the mind and give direction to the current of his thoughts. But this requires greater effort than we can make in our own strength. We must stay our minds on God if we would have right thoughts and proper subjects for meditation. Few realize that it is a duty to exercise control over their thoughts and imaginations. It is difficult to keep the undisciplined mind fixed upon profitable subjects. But if the thoughts are not properly employed, religion cannot flourish in the soul. The mind must be preoccupied with sacred and eternal things or it will cherish trifling and superficial thoughts. Both the intellectual and the moral powers must be disciplined, and they will strengthen and improve by exercise. To understand this matter aright, we must remember that our hearts are naturally depraved, and we are unable of ourselves to pursue a right course. It is only by the grace of God, combined with the most earnest efforts on our part, that we can gain the victory. There are, in the Christian faith, subjects upon which every one should accustom his mind to dwell. The love of Jesus, which passeth knowledge, his sufferings for the fallen race, his work of mediation in our behalf, and his exalted glory— These are the mysteries into which angels desired to look. Heavenly beings find in these themes enough to attract and engage their deepest thoughts. And shall we, who are so intimately concerned, manifest less interest than the angels in the wonders of redeeming love? The intellect, as well as the heart, must be consecrated to the service of God. He has claims upon all there is of us. Our High Calling, April 15th. I encourage you to be ye doers of the word and not hearers only. Thank you for listening and be sure to join us tomorrow for your daily devotional reading.